I wanted to include this in my metal sintering video, but oh boy, it was so long. I don't know the statistics of how many people are still using this transformator soldering iron. I mean steel. It's cheap, it's powerful, I see no problem with that. <laughs> now if you use one of these and you ever tried to solder some cable onto some powerful speaker, you may notice that the tin is doing funny things. Also maybe you saw some mercury motor experiments. Now tin is metal and it's molten at relatively low temperature, so watch what happens. So you saw that the tin was moving around like crazy. Now what we can do is we can now squeeze the tip of the soldering iron just a little bit. That's quite a lot. Now in theory magnetic flux will be much higher and the molten tin pool will be much less also. Ok, so let's try this now. Ok, I have to squeeze it a little bit more, so let's try this. So you can see that we basically made a bunch of tin balls. Motion of these balls is quite predictable as you can see and the size varies quite a bit. Actually let me try to concentrate the field a little bit more. Anyone else thinking about 3D printing?